Hi everybody, in this video we're going to be comparing the new game from Rebellion, Zombie Army 4 Dead War, with a game that's been around for I think about a year or so now, World War Z. Now this is all done on an OG PlayStation 4, um, and straight away, straight off the bat, what I'd say is that if you enjoy uh, World War Z, you'll definitely enjoy Zombie Army 4, or indeed its predecessor, predecessor uh, Zombie Army Trilogy, or Nazi Army, Nazi Zombie Army 1 or 2 uh, on, on the PC. Um, also, if you've played any of the Zombie Army games, including the Zombie Army Trilogy, or the new Zombie Army 4, you'll definitely enjoy World War Z, because as you watch the footage sort of flicking back between the games, you'll see that you know they they kind of cut from a very similar cloth. Um, Third-person shooters, obviously. Um, the main difference, well, one of the main difference, is the speed of the zombies. So, in Zombie Army 4, you've got slow, shambling zombies with the occasional fast mover. Um, and in World War Z, they're basically all fast moving. Um, and then you've got things obviously like the setting. So I enjoy both games immensely and I would recommend both games <laughs> immensely. But that's why I do these big long kind of comparison videos because then you can just watch the footage back to back and you can see you know, the, the, the subtle differences between the games in, in this kind of case and decide which is best for you if you've got limited resources. D limited time I guess is the, the biggest one. So let's, let's, so let's get down to work. So if we talk about in terms of graphics, both games um, I think look look great on the PlayStation. Um, perhaps Zombie Army, um, what it really has is, and and this might maybe due to Rebellion's engine that they use. I'm not sure what they call it, but the lighting can often be phenomenal in it. Really, really cool, and it suits this sort of game um, very, very much so, and very eerie. I'm very John Carpenter, that sort of thing. Um, but, you know, I, th I think World War Z looks, looks really, really good as well. Um, Sound-wise, they're both good. Um, you could argue that the gun sounds in World War Z are better than in um, Zom Zombie Army 4. Mainly because Rebellion, I think, with their, with their sound captures for their gunfire, they go a little bit too high-pitched, I think, a lot of the time. Um, I don't know if anybody else noticed this, but they sometimes they la they lack the low end thud that you, that you really want. Um, as far as music goes, uh, Zombie Army has a bit of a, like a John Carpenterish um, synth track, which is really cool. Um, and uh, Zombie Army has, uh, and sorry, World War Z has a, you know, has, has cool music cool sound that's going on. Now, as far as gameplay goes, they're they're, they're very similar. You kind of you you have kind of corridor shooter bits where you're going from A to B and then you'll have you'll have a horde mode bit um, and then you'll have another bit and then you'll have different things as well so in this particular World War Z uh, level you're looking at there's a uh, escort mission where you've got to look after this bus I don't think have I come across an escort mission in Zombie Army 4 I don't think so um, but you know it, it's similar that way you know it, it's kind of corridor shooter that often the corridors especially in zombie army 4 the, the corridors open up quite wide um, it's not like a call of duty corridor shooter and then you'll have a bit where in zombie army they'll say right defend defend the horde or something like that, survive the horde um and in world war z you, know, you have a very similar th thing because the kind of the the ace in world war z's uh, hand is its ability to put hundreds, if not thousands, of zombies, fast-moving zombies, on the screen at the same time, and this is what makes some of the scenes, some of the, well, not scenes, some of the um, bits you play in World War Z, absolutely stunning, because they they look like they're out of the film. I don't know if you've seen the World War Z film. Worth yeah. worth seeing. It's not brilliant. It's worth breach. worth seeing. Um, but um, everything's kind of. Uh, you, you, the, the whole point is you have these fast moving zombies and they, they they hang around in these huge packs of hundreds of and or thousands of zombies and they rush you all at once and so you need your you know, your big heavy machine gun you need your 
um, mortars, you know, you need your traps, all that sort of to hold the horde back, and that, that is really cool. You do have moments in Zombie Army 4 where you get lots of zombies on the same screen but it's a different type of gameplay because they're shambling zombies it's a case of getting your sniper rifle out and headshot 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 rather than hanging on to a big 50 caliber machine gun and trying to mow down hundreds of, th of them although what's really great about Zombie Army 4 um, as a improvement on Zombie Army Trilogy is that the automatic gunfire gameplay both with things like the um, big uh, LMGs and your submachine gun or shotgun and your pistol is much much better than it used to be um, in Zombie Army Trilogy. Zombie Army Trilogy basically you were sniping all of the time um, whereas in uh, Zombie Army 4 the game rewards uh, submachine gun play and shotgun play and pistol play very very well indeed um, story wise um, they both got interesting stories World War Z is obviously based on the book and the film they kind of move them both together um, and the idea with the zombies in uh, World War Z is that there's been an infection that's turned people into zombies and that's taken over the world and you're so and you have these different chapters in the game that, that focus on different survivors in different parts of the game so you've got the survivors in Japan, survivors in Russia, survivors in America and survivors in Israel and you follow them over a few different missions um, and it's really cool because that's very similar to what the book does but you have the visuals from the film which is the fast moving uh, massive hordes of zombies. Zombie Army 4 uh, carries on the story from Zombie Army Trilogy where it's uh, just after World War 2 uh, in, uh, Hitler was losing the war so the way that he decided to try and win the war was call on the occults and turn his armies into an army of dead zombies so you know it's all about you know evil and um, I guess hell and the zombies that's where the zombies have come from you know they've, they've come from hell whereas in World War Z it's it's an infection that way gunplay is great through both um, however you know if you want lots of sniping Obviously, Zombie Army 4 <laughs> from the creatives of Sniper Elite is the way to go because you have some really cool headshotting. There are a few sniper rifles in um, World War Z, and that's when you do get a chance to play, you know, first person perspective looking down the, the, the barrel of a, a scope. But you, mostly it's what you see here over the shoulder, third person perspective, blasting away with a, a submachine gun um, or a. Um, or an assault rifle or, or a heavy weapon or something like that. Um, difficulty goes, well they, they can both be pretty tough. What I tend to find with Zombie Army is that you'll get <laughs> often you'll get to a level and it's like even when you're playing on normal the developer will, will have flicked the difficulty switch up like loads and you're like how on earth do I get through this level because it'd be really classic one, it'd be really really tight so you'll be in a really small corridor facing lots of zombies you can't kill them all at once and you've got to really think right what am I doing here where do I have to shoot the zombies I've got to make sure I'm not hitting their arm I've got to make sure I hit in their, their body so I can take them down quickly or you'll have a massive horde mode a moment in um, a survived horde mode in the zombie army but what it will probably be there will probably be a couple of critical special zombies with like um, uh, flamethrowers or heavy machine guns that you need to take down first unless you take them down first you know you're going to take too much damage uh, throughout the game um, and so that can be uh, that, you know that, that can be very, very tricky but obviously you can turn the difficulty down um, World War Z again has these massive horde moments where you'll just start to get overwhelmed uh, overwhelmed with enemies um, what you're seeing in both footages here is in Zombie Army and in World War Z is I'm playing single player and you'll notice that with World War Z, when you play single player, you get three bots to help you. Um, but it's really cool to go online with um, World War Z and play with randoms or friends. And you can do the same thing with uh, with Sniper Elite, uh, Sniper Elite with um, Zombie Army as well. You can go, you can play uh, co-op through the campaign, um, which you know it's always better together, isn't it? But um, we can't always do that. Um, so, so that's really cool. Progression. Very interestingly, again, um, Zombie Army this time has gone with a uh, 
quite robust progression system that involves ranking up your character which then gives you access to different perks which makes your character more powerful and the same goes with the guns as well so in zombie army you know you, you, your gun starts off fairly basic and then as you level it up and you find upgrade kits you can add you know more ammo um, uh, more damage um, and all, all that sort of stuff so so that's that's cool that they've got that and that's in World, World War Z is designed specifically for replayability of levels because there's not that many levels. There's probably 14 levels altogether, I think. There's four countries, maximum of four, so there's a maximum of 16 levels. It's got a horde mode as well and th things like that, just like Zombie Army 4 has. And uh, so the idea is you keep replaying the levels in World War Z, ranking up your gun ranking up your character, choosing the perks you want, choosing the uh, attributes you want to go on your gun so that you can get more powerful and more powerful so you can then tackle the more difficult levels, more difficult difficulty levels so you can get more points to rank up even further and there's lots of different classes you can work through as well so they've both got loads of replayability but for me you see that the most important thing about replayability isn't necessarily progression, it's more to do with the fun of the game, you know how fun is the game, how often do you want to go back and 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 replay through uh, a particular level. Both games have got a campaign, and both games have got horde mode as well. I'm not going to show you any sort of horde mode footage here. I uh, probably at the moment I would give the edge in terms of horde mode to um, Zombie Army 4. Um, the, I think the horde mode in um, World War Z probably needs a little bit more balancing. It gets a little bit boring sometimes because it goes on and on and on. Um, but you know, I would say check them out. The main reason for buying these games isn't really the horde mode. I don't think it's really for it's for the campaign and replaying through the campaign and doing it that way. So there you go. Hopefully that's kind of giving the impression that I really enjoy both of these games. I both think they're really good games. Um, and if you like Zombie Army, you're going to like World War Z and vice versa as well. If you're into your zombie shooters, come on, you know you're going to like both of these. If you like shooters in general you're going to like them I think say you enjoy games like um, The Division Division 2 or Ghost Recon Wildlands or Breakpoint um, or anything like that you're going to enjoy this sort of uh, th these sorts of games and it really depends on as you look at the gameplay footage here and I'm just going to let it run after I finish talking um, what appeals to you the most and probably they're both going to appeal <laughs> to the most of them so depending when you actually get to watch this video you're probably going to be able to pick up world war z cheap because it goes in the sale regularly and eventually um you know zombie army 4 is going to be going in the sales isn't it so you can pick it pick it up there as well anyway i will stop talking now and i will just let the footage run and it just keeps flicking it back between world war z that you see here and then flicking back to um zombie army 4 which you're going to see now, normally about every 30 seconds, and uh, if you've got any questions or comments, put them down below. Uh, if you've enjoyed the video, hit like. If you want to see more of the same, press subscribe. Thank you very much, and I will see you again soon.
target down. By the numbers, we should all be dead. <laughs> I've never killed anything before today. Technically, they were already dead. Enforcements we requested. I think it's clear. Let's go. We're not moving without your protection. Enforcements? Afraid not. We have orders from the top. Need to get to the radio mast. No time for that. The horn's almost here. Look, if you help repel the enemy, then I'll show you the way to the radio mast, okay? Armored Giant! approach.
Command, this is Team 4. We'll head to the Western Gate. We won't let them through. Hello, hold. Safe that gate falls. I have to leave. Go, rescue leader! Don't stop that bus for anything! Has Thank you, Team 4. Do your best. Bring that bull down! Watch <laughs> shots! <laughs> Turret here. Ah, here they come. Two arms, lads. Two arms. Ready for me. Backing them up. Reloading. This way. Through the gate. Hiroji, was LA this bad when you were there? It was different. How so? A lot of guns, everybody's high, panic, bad combination. Reloading! 